Hello all and welcome to my uh, channel. I hope you're all okay. Had a good weekend or whatever. Um, today I'm going to give you a hardware review. The hardware in question is the Geek Vape Zeus X. So I've been using this for about a week or so now and yeah we'll do the normal guys. We'll go down to the table have an up close and personal, then we'll come back up top, have a talk about it, pros, cons, and all that sort of bollocks, yeah? So, without further ado, let's go down to the table and give it a look. See you there. Right then, here we have the lovely Geek Vape Zeus X. Now, this particular version is the TPD 2 milliliter version. So we look on the front, you've got a picture of the Zeus X itself. Geek Vape Zeus X 2 milliliter, keep out of reach of children and minors. Product doesn't contain nicotine, but it has it on there anyway. Top, you've just got Geek Vape. Bottom, Geek Vape. The side there, we've got various social media. You've got a barcode, barcode there. It says Zeus X RTA 2 milliliter TPD gunmetal. Made in China. And you've got your old scratch and sniff there. On the other side, all the various colours. Stainless steel, blue, black, rainbow, red, black. And gunmetal. Obviously, this particular version is gunmetal. On the back, Zeus X 2 milliliter, the Zeus X final edition. There you go, final edition of the Zeus series. So, by that, no more Zeus series. Anyway, copyright, Geek Vape, all rights reserved, various social media again, website, telephone numbers. All that sort of business. It won't make you pregnant. Twenty over twenty-one or relevant age of consent. Well, vaping age in your country. Church of England. Recyclable. Don't throw it in a bin. Let's have a look inside. Take the sleeve off. Put that to one side. Just a normal little geek vape symbol on there. Open the box and you've got the tank itself there. Box of goodies. Let's have a look in there. If I can get it out. So we'll open the box. Inside you've got a spare 2ml TPD glass. And all the rest I can't get out. Typical. You've got a bag of cotton lace there. You've got a pair of coils. Inside this box, you've got another drip tip. You've got tools there, flathead, Phillips, and a larger flathead. You've got various screws. You've got your O-rings and all that sort of stuff. Spare screws again, the little ones there. And that's it. Move that to one side. Let's have a look at the bottom of the box. Inside the bottom of the box, you've got the user manual. In here, we've got like a little envelope in there. There is... That's your warranty information. Then you've got various other stuff. Lucid kit, Geek Vapes other kit. Another picture of the Zeus X there in nice red colour. Warnings, do not use the device for anything other than vaping. Different warnings there, you can see. Blank on the back. And that's that for the little envelope. Inside here, we've got the user manual. Thank you for choosing Geek Vape. 
it's got the blown up picture of the tank there drip tip you got your top cap airflow control inner chamber internal airflow chamber and gold plated positive pin on the bottom various details there of how we fill it up and all that sort of business and that's it different languages lovely jovely so we'll have a look at the tank itself now you've got a nice little low profile drip tip there might not be to everybody else's liking but it's to my liking and it's very nice indeed let's see if i've got another drip tip laying around spare see another normal 810 drip tip sits on there so whichever you prefer um, obviously you've got an ultim one inside there inside the bag you can put that in a drip tip of your own choice there or if I'm not throwing it all over the place or you've got the low profile drip tip there There you go, you've got your air flow control at the top. Alter it on one side. You're also altering it exactly the same on the other side. Now it is quite airy. I've been tending it to, to have it halfway down anyway. When you look on the bottom, gold plated screw on the bottom. Zeus, don't throw it in a bin. Designed by Geek Vape. Now, to fill it up, fill the tank up, all you do is a little turn on the top, probably halfway, and lift off. None of this unscrewing about 20 bloody times. That's all you do. Slight half turn, and it's off. Back on again, half a turn, there you go. What you've got to watch with this is when you take it off, if you've got your fingers... On the airflow control ring look at that you pull them both off now there was no reason why geek vape didn't put something on here to stop it coming off but they haven't no biggie it's just a bit of a pain and well it could roll away and you could lose it but there you go obviously you've got your fill ports at the top two decent size there and it's sort of recessed in so if you've got any sort of wastage e-liquid it just goes in there and then eventually it'll go down into your tank picture of zeus there i presume and zeus in words on the other side so undo the tank here picture of the deck there take this off as i say this is the tb tpd glass now what i shall do is get a bubble glass taking it up to three and a half mil i believe it is from my kylin version 2 fits perfect so kylin version 2 bubble glass fits on there just fine also your old bubble glass from the other zeus dew coil that will fit on there also inside there you've got where all this is where all your magic happens so what will happen obviously air comes in you can just see there at the top comes in there and then it'll come down through the chamber this is in It'll come down the chamber. Air will come through the holes that you can see. Go round via your um, coils. And then through the middle and out. Very, very good airflow indeed. It really, really is. You've got two notches there, which fit onto the deck 
like so obviously you've got your top cap on and it fits on there perfectly once it's all in place and together you look at the deck itself it's porcelain flat head screws eh, no biggie i don't particularly like them but they do a job in fact i think spare ones in here are yeah there you go if i can just get hold of one and show you the spare screws in here are the show you get hold of the fucking things now you've got some spare screws in here which are the allen type screws so if you wished you could take your flathead out and replace them no biggie at all let me just get a pointy pointy device so what you'll see once i put the coils in you your wick will dangle down and go into here either side really really easy to wick so i'll get some coils i'll get some coils that i've previously used because i'm a tight bastard and i haven't got loads of coils to waste so put these in here make sure i pick the right size right now what i've done i'll show you with the with the next coil is with the coily tool right way around i have measured the coils to be six and a half mil that takes that takes the coils to the perfect length for me to be on it well perfect height just sits nicely inside now i think this is the is eight wrap let's have a look one two three four five six seven i've got eight wrap three mil in a diameter This one in screw it down now once you get your coils into place you're going to have to check obviously one that they aren't touching And two, that they're not going to be hitting the inside or the side of the inner chimney. Which, mine don't. 7mm on the coily, uh, sorry, 6.5mm on the coily tool. 8 wrap, fuse claptons, 3mm in a diameter. Absolute perfect for me. Obviously, other people out there will have their own different ways of doing it, but this is absolutely perfect for me. So, wicking it up. And there. There is no easy way to do it, no hard way to do it. It's just... A piece of piss cotton in I'm using Muji cotton right all I do is do one side first you see there put the scissors just rest it on the top and snip away thin the edges that thin your cotton out Obviously, you're going to fit it into there. Give it a haircut. There you go. Short back and sides. Obviously, I'm only doing one side because if it's too short or too long, I can pull the access from 
the other side. So it's probably slightly on the short side there, actually. So I'll just pull it through slightly. Put your cotton in. Obviously, you don't want it rammed chocker in there so you can't get anything else in. You want it slack-ish. Now, once it's in there, once your cotton's in, you can just see, or hopefully you may not be able to get to see, but underneath, you just want it dangling down below the deck there. Slightly, the cotton slightly dangling down. You don't want it pushed all the way through and there's loads of it on the bottom. Slightly, slightly dangling down. And it works a treat. There we go, cut all that off. Thin it out. Air cut. Dog's barking next door. Again, always barking. Put your cotton through here. And that is basically it. So, so easy to wick it. You cannot get any easier. So, you look it on the cotton there. Absolutely perfect. Put my bubble glass on. Put the top on. Obviously, you've got to make sure that the inner chamber is in. Line it up. If it doesn't fit perfect, you just twist it round until it clicks into place and all screws in. And that is that. Take the top off, half a turn. E liquid in. And that is that. Super easy, idiot proof. I can do it, anybody can do it. Lovely looking RTA, leak proof and absolutely fantastic flavour. There you had a close up with the Geek Vape Zeus X. So, back up to the top guys. Have a little talk about it, pros, cons and all that sort of stuff. See you there. So, there you have the Geek Vape Zeus X. What do I think of it? It's a fucking good RTA. Top airflow. No leaks. No spills. Cracking flavour. Um, if I could put it on a par with, maybe slightly better, I would put it on par with the Kylin version 2 slightly better flavor from this is 8 out of 10 super super easy to wick coil and wick you saw down below at the table piss piss it's easy anybody can do it I can do it you can do it it's easy it's it's one of the easiest RTAs out at the moment to wick um, pros then build quality cracking build quality really is um, you can't knock it at all uh, another thing that I love obviously 
the fill cap at the top you do a little turn and it's off none of this unscrewing like 20 times and it's undone it's literally <coughs> like a third of the way and it's and it's undone fill it up off your pop flavor from it excellent eight out of ten for flavor it really really is um an excellent rta for flavor another pro as i said before wicked easy you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong wicking this at all not a problem um and it's an all-round great vape cons one of the cons for me would be the air adjustment ring at the top you take that off the there you go look super super easy to take away the air adjustment ring at the top so so easy um it is rather airy me personally i have it dialed down to halfway it's not noisy let's have a go great flavor great vapor production well made i can't say any more on it to be honest i could talk about this for ages this as i say slightly better for me than the kylin 2 it really is it's a cracking cracking rta now obviously you can see i've got the bubble glass on the top now that bubble glass is from my Kylin version 2 fits on there not a problem the old i believe the old um zeus dual coil bubble glasses also fit on it so you haven't got a problem going out and buying a bubble glass obviously you're living in if you live in the uk comes tpd compliant two mil glass that's as much use as tits on a fish and you're filling up every half an hour it's a little bit thirsty but you don't mind it being a bit thirsty with this flavor that it pumps out it really really is eight out eight out of ten flavor all day long cannot say anything more about it as i say the only con the air adjustment ring at the top comes off it wouldn't have took very much machining at the top to keep that fixed not fixed as in you can't turn it but as in fixed on there so when you pull the uh, filler cap top off it doesn't come away with your uh, fingers as well you just have to be a bit careful when you're filling it up that you don't pull that away as well and that's it no cons except for that uh, no leaks no spillages great flavor easy to wick you can't go wrong with this rta at all and that's it the geek vape zeus x absolutely fantastic rta it really really is as always guys i hope you've enjoyed watching this video as usual please like and share if you haven't already hit that subscription button down below um another 130 odd away from a thousand subscribers it was always my aim within a year to try to get a thousand subscribers and i'm sort of on my way there now thank you again for watching really really appreciate you subscribing what wherever you are whatever you're doing have a cracking day guys girls really mean it thank you for watching again